Shemot, Exodus 14. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashara el, that they turn and encamp before Piha Chiroth, between Migdal and the sea, over against Baal Tsephon, before it shall ye encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Yashara el, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden at Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his host that the Mitzrayim may know that I am Yahuwah. And they did so. And it was told the king of Mitzrayim that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people, and they said, Why have we done this, that we have let at Yashara'el go from serving us? And he made ready at his chariot, and took at his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Mitzrayim, and captains over every one of them. And Yahuwah hardened at the heart of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and he pursued after the children of Yashara'el. And the children of Yashara'el went out with a high hand. But the Mitzrayim pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them, encamping by the sea, beside Piha Chirioth, before Baal Sephon. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Yashara'el lifted up at their eyes, and behold, the Mitzrayim marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Yashara'el cried out unto Yahuwah, and they said unto Moshe, because there were no graves in Mitzrayim, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore have you dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Mitzrayim? Is not this the word that we did tell you in Mitzrayim, saying, Let us alone that we may serve at the Mitzrayim? For it had been better for us to serve at the Mitzrayim than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moshe said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see at the Yahshua of Yahuwah, which he will show to you today. For at the Mitzrayim whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more, for ever. Yahuwah shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Wherefore cry you unto me? Speak unto the children of Yashara'el, that they go forward. But lift up at your rod, and stretch out at your hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Yashara'el shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden at the hearts of the Mitzrayim, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Mitzrayim shall know that I am Yahuwah, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of Elohim, which went before the camp of Yashara'el, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of them, rather, and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Mitzrayim and the camp of Yashara'el. And it was a cloud and darkness to them, 
but it gave light at by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moshe stretched out at his hand over the sea, and Yahuwah caused at the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made at the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Yasharael went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Mitzrim pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, Yahuwah looked unto the host of the Mitzrim through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled at the house, rather the host of the Mitzrim, and took off at their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily, so that the Mitzrim said, Let us flee from the face of Yasharael, for Yahuwah fights for them against the Mitzrim. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Stretch out at your hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon Mitzrim, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moshe stretched forth at his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared. And the Mitzrim fled against it, and Yahuwah overthrew at the Mitzrim in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned, and covered at the chariots and at the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Yasharael walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Then Yahuwah saved at Yasharael that day out of the hand of the Mitzrim, and Yasharael saw at the Mitzrim dead upon the seashore. And Yasharael saw at that great work which Yahuwah did upon the Mitzrim. And the people feared at Yahuwah and believed Yahuwah and his servant Moshe.